Right now at noon, it's been one week since Hurricane Ian slammed into southwest Florida, causing massive destruction and deaths. And right now, President Biden headed to that area to get a firsthand look at the devastation left behind and meet with the victims. Here's the latest on Ian. The Category 4 storm now being blamed for at least 105 deaths in Florida, 55 of them happening in Lee County alone. More than 340,000 customers in the state still do not have power as crews work to restore electricity. And local 10 News reporter Trent Kelly is live in Collier County this midday. He has the latest on the search and recovery efforts along with the cleanup. Trent. Yeah, Geo, hard to believe now, but this time last week, some of Ian's intense effects were just starting to be felt by this area. Now, exactly seven days later, most of the water here, uh, for the most part, may be gone, but this region still sits in shambles. Many homeowners just now starting their cleanup process as basic supplies remain very scarce. Search. As search and rescue operations intensify, one week after Hurricane Ian roared ashore, the search for supplies continues for those who survived the Category 4 storm. We have no water, but we're here to take a shower. We've been yeah. going to the amenity center to get water out of the pool so we can flush our toilets. Tom Jacobs and his wife were one of several to line up outside this Fort Myers fire station where officials are providing free showers to those still in need. We have these uh, tents here that we were able to you know usually, usually use for hazmat calls and we thought to let's set these up so that people can take a shower. So we have ten, uh, tanker trucks coming in with water. Uh, they hold about 6,000 gallons. This one's been here for about two days and we have another one en route today. Aside from clean water, hot meals have also been hard to find with several area churches and nonprofits now stepping up to help. The last two days we've served over 40,000 meals because we're here in Southwest Florida, we're still in a food and water crisis. Pastor Matt Keller and his team of volunteers have been working nonstop to fill that void, delivering hot meals to local hospitals, shelters, and first responders. For us hearing the stories of um, people who haven't eaten in three days, um, people who are checking into the emergency room at the hospital for starvation because they haven't eaten since the storm hit. Now on the power front, there is a bit of good news to report. As Gio mentioned earlier, a quarter p some 340,000 customers across the state and region remain in the dark without power. That's actually an improvement from yesterday when that number was above 400,000. fp still vowing to get the majority of customers' uh, power restored by the end of this week. An aggressive timeline. We will see if that happens. Back to you guys in the studio. All right, Trent, and can you give us an update? On the latest in the search and rescue operations, it's been a week since the hurricane. Are crews expecting to rescue anybody who may be stuck somewhere, or is this becoming more of a recovery effort at this point? Well, Janice, at this point, it does seem to be, uh, to be becoming more of a recovery mission at this point. I did get to speak to the mayor of Miami-Dade County, who made a stop here in southwest Florida yesterday. And while she was here, she did get an update on those operations. She told us uh, that Miami-Dade Fire Rescue, they are still wrapping up their door-to-door -door search of a lot of the barrier islands here. She does expect those searches to wrap up uh, within the next day or two, but she says those crews will remain stationed here in southwest Florida and could receive a new assignment as soon as tomorrow. We'll keep you updated. I'm Trent Kelly live in Collier County, Local 10 News. Yeah, still so much to be done in that area. Trent, thank you for your reporting.